Hello guys, welcome back to our channel and the new video in uh, our 2013 Electra Ride project. And as you guys see in the last video, we all got the interfering uh, complete, put the speakers on and ready to be installed. But to install it, we're gonna have to replace that <coughs> bent handlebar. And uh, we, maybe we forgot to mention that when we got uh, the bike on that line here was loose and was leaking uh, brake fluid so we tightened that so the brake actually is not good so up here I have three handlebars we're gonna choose one of them and see which one is gonna fit but to find it I have to get all of these down because I don't know exactly where is it so let's start the fun and start to get these uh, all these bars down and find our handlebars. Okay guys, here we go. These are our three handlebars that we got. All of them are used. Uh, got uh, two of them with other bars I bought. There was like kind of package. And then I found this one here, which is Looks like better quality is more shiny. I'm not sure if you guys can see in the camera or no. And definitely the height is higher like what, what we already have. So we don't have to mess up with the length of, of the any wires or any like brake lines or anything. So we gotta shoot this one. That's what we're gonna install in our 2013 uh, Victor Glide one. Again, it's almost the same like what we had here previously. Like, I like a little bit going up here, but I don't think there's going to be that much difference. Okay, let's go back and start disassemble everything. So now we're going to start removing these uh, buttons on the clutch side. And uh, guys, we already removed uh, the lever here and the bracket that uh, holding the clutch lever uh, when we disassemble the fairing. So it's a, I think a T25 here. And there's one more here. I think it's gonna be the same. Yep. As you guys can see there is um, some rocks. Like, very small, I'm gonna take gravels, I'm not gonna say that really rocks from the accident that's sitting inside <laughs> inside these buttons. So we're gonna have to remove everything on this side of the handlebar like the brake uh, levers and all these switches and the throttle cables as well. So again these are I think 227s here, 225 these gonna be like one screw from the top and one screw from the bottom. 225. Yeah. And uh, we'll go ahead and remove everything. Okay guys, we got the handlebar out and now to get the wires out, we're gonna actually have to remove the wires from the harness. And um, you guys can see that piece here you get the plier or something and just like unlock it then you go from the back and uh, get like a very tiny like glasses or uh, watch screwdrivers and you need to go above see the opening from the top here and push Here's a click, then hold the wire and we'll come off. And make sure you take good pictures. Every wire has a color, some of them like same color but has like a, a different uh, color line. So make sure you take good pictures or write your own diagram. So after you put the wires in a new handlebar, 
you can put everything back in place without like switching any wires so we're gonna keep going doing all of this for that um that's uh, the that's the left side which that's is the, the left side yes yeah then we the have clutch. the yeah. clutch yeah the clutch side then we have two more here for the um, uh, the right side which is the throttle and brake so we're gonna have to keep doing for all of this and after this we'll pull the wire out and put them in a new handlebar let's keep going okay guys so after we took all these pins out we just pulled it pulled the the whole wire all the way from the side here so the next step is what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on the other side the throttle uh, side we're gonna disassemble the switch and take everything apart and we're gonna do the same with the other two harnesses there but before we do this so we're not gonna lose control remember the first video we had to mark all of our uh, plugs so that's what I'm gonna do so that was number four so I'm gonna put number four again here and we're gonna do the same with the other two So now we took the, all the wires from that harness for plug. I tried to pull it and found it's hard, so most probably we'll try to pull everything together. There is kind of protective uh, rubber here, so keep that for later. Um, so now we're gonna work on in the last um, harness we have the last plug this is only six three in the top three in the bottom uh, they look very close in the color except d3 here or neither this here is a dark color so we're gonna have somehow to mark again on that plug that yellow go up for example here is yellow and the other one I'm gonna keep that as number one, keep it like this, and I'm just gonna write down here that's the yellow side. So when I put them back, I know that D3 is gonna go in the top and D3 will go in the other from the back here. Okay, let's take some pictures and uh, get that last harness out. You guys, so I know how we uh, took all the wires out of the pent uh, handlebar. Now the next step is transfer everything from this handlebar to the new one. Put everything back together, and um, the handlebar will ready to be installed back on the bike. That's what we gotta do next. 
so stay tuned okay guys now we have our new uh, handlebar it's a used one but for me it's a new so it come with a little tiny opening here for the wires in both sides so we're gonna cut them make them wider larger so we can uh, feed the wires in without cutting any of the wires so that's what we're gonna do that's that's a old broken one and again you guys can see how big and wide that opening compared to the one we have so let's go ahead and get cut and then start to feed our wires in All right, we made the opening bigger. Uh, we used a grinder, we used multi-tool, we used a Dremel, but anyways, it's bigger and smooth. Make sure it's smooth, the edges, because there is wires gonna be coming out of this. So any sharp edge can cut your wires. Um, and we're gonna go to the other side, make it the same way, and we'll be back. All right, we got both openings opened and smooth and by the way it doesn't matter how much power tools you have it's gonna end up you doing it like, like with a file or a sandpaper just to make it smooth because there's wires coming out of this guys you know any sharp edge it can cut your wires and that's metal connected to metal that can shorten your circuits everything see smooth now we're gonna start by fishing the wire from the middle okay now we're going the clutch side whatever <laughs> okay so which side do you want to go first doesn't matter let's do the clutch it's only one that's the clutch side right yep yes the clutch side doesn't have any notches here while the the, um, the throttle the throttle had these notches whereas your okay. throttle is gonna go into it so we're gonna fish a fishing line if it's gonna go through all right it's going through now it's not it doesn't want to go through how about start from here let's start from here yeah. okay let's maybe try. maybe that that pin will make it hard yep we got all it. right let me get the long nose Do you have one of those, uh, the hook? Can you hold it for a sec? No. Pull it back a little. That's good enough. Push. That's perfect. So, we're actually gonna pull it this way. And from this end, that's the clutch? Yep. There's a clutch.
So we got both sides fished in and all the wires now is inside. Just for you guys, when you do it, make sure you do the throttle side first because they are very thick and we had hard time a little bit to get yeah, the, everything like, uh, out. What, three bundles of wires yeah. compared so, to one bundle. Yeah, so do the throttle side first so you can have more space at that opening. And now we're gonna just get the throttle part fish more in. Okay. And that goes for the electronic throttle. Yes, yes. we're gonna put the plug the harness back. No, there is another, the other bike is the manual. Uh, there is cables, which is the old ones, I think to 2007. I think since Yeah, but this was the electronic this throttle. This is the electro, electric, electronic throttle, yes. Okay. So, so and we were leaving this one kind of loose to see where it's going to be positioned. Then we can fish some more. But for now, we're going to just leave it hanging like this. We did the same way on the other side. And guys, once again, do not do our mistake. We fish the easy side first. No, fish the bad side first, which is the throttle side. The clutch side is easy. It's one bundle of wires. Now we're gonna put the the harness back on. That's gonna take some time. <laughs> we're gonna go back to our photos, the pictures we took, so we can uh, arrange the wires Which the right way. Was that? that was uh, five. Oh, that's five. No, and that's that's, one of that's four. That's five. Number one. Five, five and one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go and uh, get these in, and then that will be ready to be put back on the bike. So we finished the largest or the, the hardest uh, harness so we followed the, the photos the picture we took before so we can get everything back correct and every time you put the one of these wires make sure you hear that click and make sure pull it back and it's not going out so we did this side and the other side get everything out put the water steel in all the way and then we close up the back side of it and then you remember we took these um, we took this uh, part out we kind of unlock it and now we need the plier back and push back until you click again so this one is ready now we're gonna go do the other side and then we'll be done I'm gonna put these uh, wires again inside the shrink wrap here and I'm just gonna run like an electric tape around them and we'll be ready. Okay guys our next step now is to put the handlebar in a place so it's gonna be much more easier to put your grips uh, and adjust everything and close the housing around them and then you can uh, pull the wire where everything is like fixed here so we're gonna take these screws out and start okay now the handlebar is on looks great um, just remember guys, we're not gonna, yes, we tightened here a little bit, but that's not the final position or how it's gonna be. To do that, you're gonna have to put the seat on, get your, put your foot on the floor, hold the handlebar and make sure that's comfortable to you before you tighten these screws to the end. We might do minor adjustment that later on, but now I'm gonna try to put the seat on that I'm gonna be using and try to sit down hold the handlebar from both sides and see if that good for me or I need to move it back a little bit or more out it's whatever more comfortable to you to when you ride then after this we're gonna start put the grips back start to put the switches how things together 
and we'll go from there. So as you guys saw, I put my seat on, I sit down, start to, to feel the position of the handlebar, turn all the way to the right, to the left, make sure like I'm not extended forward just to make sure it's when I turn all the way right to the left, like I'm still ha easily have control without need to move my back or my body forward or back. So I think for now, I'm gonna keep it in that position and if we need more adjustment, we'll do it later. So the next step is start put the the grips on and we'll go from there. So now we got our new, uh, that's new, brand new, not like the handlebar. These are the grips, are brand new. Uh, they look great, I like them. And uh, we put the switch housing back. And again, if you guys notice that on uh, when I put them in, I was adjusting that angle up and down a little bit because I want to make sure I can reach everything while I'm holding uh, my grip. So again, sit back in your bike make sure you have everything and make sure your finger here is can reach all the switches and buttons easily you don't need it to be all the way up because it's gonna be hard a little bit to reach here but again while you're riding that's not a big deal because it's a start and killing but on the other side you have more button here that you need to use and then in the same time you don't need it all the way down that you cannot reach the turn signal and the control switch here so again these are another thing that you need to be adjusting while you uh, put the switch housing back now we're gonna move to the clutch side which is comes with a glue so uh, we have to make sure it's clean put the glue in and we have to carefully again make sure it's clean and put the glue in and have to be very fast because that glue comes with it and the instruction thing is like seconds and we'll we'll set up so that's another thing that you want to make sure you get all the way in and also it's good to have both of them looking exactly like the same same position same angle especially this one has some patterns so I put the flame facing each other in the top and bottom and the space between the the flames in the front and back so I want to make sure when I put the other side is gonna be exactly the same so I don't need so both of them will be the same angle so it's gonna look symmetric otherwise it's gonna look odd so let's go to the other side clean it and put our um the put our knee grip in the other side and close that uh, switch housing and after this we're gonna check any 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 uh, lack or any like moving of that wire to the switches we're gonna pull it out to make sure like nothing is bent down here on the wires okay Okay guys, that will be it for today's video. 
we have our new handlebar on with the new grips we want the housing of the switches back and uh, as you guys are we I can catch it in one shot for you guys to see everything in one shot again I aligned both grips to be exactly symmetric again as much as possible but I think it's very very close or it's almost the same again I put the switches I made sure I'm easy reaching all the switches and buttons here I can easily with my finger sorry easily with my finger like able to push all the buttons same on the other side that's again with one finger I can easily reach everything I think I'm satisfied maybe a little bit minor adjustments for the switches up and down if I feel like I need to adjust that is gonna be very easy just loosen these two screws here and just move it then tighten them back and uh, it looks good that new handlebar is looks great and I'm happy with these grips as well because we also have uh, some uh, footboards and other pieces that very very close in the shape uh, that will match thank you so much guys for the watch please uh, give us a like subscribe to the channel share the videos if you feel like the video is enjoyable to you useful for you guys and i wish you guys can see from the videos that you can do some of these builds in your garage like what we do we don't have any special tools or a special lifts or anything it's in our home garage thank you so much for watching and have a great one